Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. It's Brennan coming at you with a commander deck. One that I just completed. Quite proud of it. Over at gatheringmagic.com, they are doing a 26 decks in a year. And this is episode number one, but I liked it so much. I went with it. Mark Weiss Camper. I hope I'm saying your name correctly, sir. Uh, put together this deck. It's based off of this commander. Commander E. Shah. Look at that. Sweet Rebecca Gway art. Two and two white. Yeah, I put them all in these gold dragon skins. So cool. So, it's a mono white deck, as you can tell. This has protection from creatures, which makes her an interesting commander. You can break through just about any kind of blockade, which is super sweet. So the point of this deck is you buff up your commander, you ramp out planes so you can keep casting her, you put enchantments, you put equipments, whatever you can, and do commander damage. That's kind of it. I'm not, I don't play with what you would call super competitive people, so this is my kind of deck. But I think it's really cool. So much so that I went out and got the cards I didn't have. I had a lot of them, thankfully. But not all of them. Okay. Set her over here, so you can still kind of see her. Sorry about the quality of the video camera. Alright. First is. Knight of the White Orchid, one of my most favorite cards. First Strike comes into play. If you have fewer lands, you can go search for some lands, put them in play, or put a planes in play. Very cool. Along with the tribal theme, flying. This is uh, Avon Brigadier. All other birds get 1-1. One, one. Our commander's a bird, and soldiers get 1-1. One, one. Our commander is a bird soldier. What? That's right. Starting off with a 4 6. Sultari Visionary. Shadow. If it damages a player, destroy target enchantment. Super handy. That's a cleric. Ariok Steel Shaper. Equipments cost less. And as long as it is equipped, knights and soldiers. Soldier. It's plus one, plus one. Core cart cartographer enters the battlefield. Search for planes. Put it into the battlefield tapped. Yes. Kimba. At the beginning of every cake, put a one, put a two, two cat token onto the battlefield for each equipment. We got tons of equipment. See how you can easily switch commanders and a lot of commander decks if you want to. Just to change it up a little bit. You don't have to. Totem Guide, Heart, Beast. Go search for an aura. Because we want to put auras on this bad lady right there. Devout Witness. <clears throat> Discard a card from your hand. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Very handy against those batter skulls. Heliod's Pilgrim. Go search for an aura. There it is. Super cool. This is where we are different. I put Paragon of the New Dawns in there instead of Veteran Swordsmith because this gives all white creatures plus one plus one. A Veteran Swordsmith just gave um, soldiers a buff. And you can give something Vigilance. I mean, but this does cost one extra colorless mana more. Ghost Blade Eidolon. Bestow Double Strike. Double Strike. Core Sanctifiers. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. We all love that. Lieutenant Kurtar. Flying. Sacrifice it. Remove target attacking creature from the game. Pretty interesting. Also a bird soldier. Legend. Alright. Here is one that has been errated. This is Soraya the Falconer. Soraya 
has in fact uh, been changed to where that plus is no longer just to falcons, it is to birds as well. So you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to uh, worry about having a lot of falcons. It'll do it to birds. Oh, and target bird gains banding until end of turn. That's always fun. Get a group of people together. Explain banding to them. Chinese lost oromancers. And unless you read Chinese, which on this camera, even if you do, it would probably be pretty hard. Vanishing 3. When lost oromancers is put into the graveyard from play, if it had no time counters on it... Oh, sorry. When lost oromancers is put into the graveyard from play... If it had no time counters on it, you may search your library for an enchantment card and put it into play. If you do, shuffle. That's pretty cool. If you let it vanish out, it's awesome. Heliod, <clears throat> indestructible. Start pumping out cleric tokens. Just pretty cool. And you'll hit devotion with this. All right. That's the creatures. All the creatures. Senora Commander over there. Let's go to enchantments. Aldi but a goodie. O ring. Pacifism. Hobble. When it comes into play, draw a card. That's pretty awesome. It's a horrifying card. Forced Worship. Enchant a creature, can't attack. You can return it to your hand if something better comes along to enchant. There you go. Ah, yes. Spectra Ward. Enchant creature is plus three, plus two, and has protection from all colors. I just want to just go ahead and attach this right here to her right now. So I'm just going to slide this under there and pretend like it always has that on there. Yes. Yes, Commander Isha. Anyway, that's what I'm searching up. Dark Steel Mutation. Such a cool little... It's indestructible. Such a mean card, but it's awesome. Wow, check this out. All the way back to Alliances. Enchantment. Draw a card. Use this ability only when a creature is put into the graveyard. It's called Inheritance. See that? Cage of hands. Can't attack, can't block. Return it to your hand. What? That looks like... This one. That's okay. Functional reprints are awesome. Well, it's a little different. The cost is different. Here's an older card. Some of you may not know. It's really awesome. During your upkeep, put a verse counter on Sarah's Liturgy. Sarah's Liturgy. White sacrifice Sarah's Liturgy. Destroy up to X target artifacts and or enchantments where X is the number of verse counters. Wow. Just let that tick up for a while. See how popular you get. Cessation. Chant creature. Can't attack. Let's put it into the graveyard. Return it to hand. Chinese indestructibility. Target creature gains indestructible. Katar, oh yeah, those are the enchantments. Let's put them up. Then we'll go into sorceries. Katar's Wrath. Come on, destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. Threshold. Um, put two white spirit creature tokens and flying into play. Creatures destroyed this way, it can't be regenerated. That's awesome. Do, do, do. So it's kind of like a one sided thing, you get a couple of spirit tokens afterwards. Three dreams. This card was actually harder to find than I thought it was going to be. Search for your library, search your library for up to three aura cards. Those different names. Reveal them, put them into your hand. Sweet. Nice little board wipe. Mass Calcify. And thankfully all we have are white creatures. Well, we have some artifacts coming up. Faded Retribution. Here's an instant. 
Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers. For seven. Little swords to plowshares. Ephemeral shields. Convoke. Gain indestructible. And a Johnny's presence. One. Gains plus one plus one indestructible. And you can strive it for two and a white to put it on multiple targets. Alright, that was instants and sorceries. Let's go to. There we go. Rose gloves. When it does combat damage, you can draw a card. That's pretty nice, especially on that right there. Oops. Not yet. I'm getting out of order. Haunted plate mail. I'm pretty sure we've all seen that one. Equipment that can turn into a 4 4 spirit. <laughs> Ring of Thune. Put plus one, plus one counters on a white creature. Inquisitor's Flail. If equipped creature would deal combat damage, it deals double that damage instead. Yuck. If another creature would deal combat damage to equipped creature, it deals double that damage to equipped creature instead. So, you deal double damage, but you have the unfortunate side effect of having double damage dealt to your creature. But, if it's on Isha, creatures don't do, double, don't do damage to her, so, ta-da. Here's another mean card, Trepanation Blade. Whenever equipped creature attacks, defending player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a land. The creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn for each card revealed this way. That player puts the revealed cards into their graveyard. Dun dun dun. Tatsuma the Dragon Fang. Expensive equipment that gives plus five plus five. Or you can pay six, exile it, and put a blue dragon, five five blue dragon spirit creature token with flying. And when that spirit dies, you return the dragon fang back. That is the most flavorable piece of equipment I think I have ever seen, ever, in the game. Oh, Naginata. You can only attach it to something that's already big. But that is some cheap plus three plus O. Oh. Maybe making her big anyway, so... Good old fashioned bone splitter. Plus two plus oh. Equip one. Guardian Idol. You can either use it to add one colorless, or you can turn it into a two, two, two artifact creature. I didn't know about this card until I saw that article by Mark on Gathering Magic. Thunder Totem. This can also become a creature. Oh, this one gets flying. Or you can use it to add one white to your mana pool. Hammer of Ruin. Equipped creature gets plus two plus oh. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you may destroy target equipment that player controls. Yikes. Don't let anybody steal that from you. Trusty Machete. It get, <laughs> the creature equipped gets plus two plus one. That's really nice. Bone Splitter. Tiny upgrade. Grappling Hook. Equipped creature has double strike. You may have target creature block it if you want to. Diviner's Wand. Equipped creature has whenever you draw a card, this creature gets plus one, plus one and gains flying until end of turn. And four, draw a card. It's a handy, it combos with itself. Whenever a wizard creature comes into play, you may put it on that wizard creature. I don't think we have any wizards in this deck. Stratoscythe. Imprint. You get plus one plus one for each land on the battlefield the same as the one you imprinted. It's pretty handy. Dark Steel Axe. It's like Bone Splitter except indestructible. and costs one more to equip. Barbed Battle Gear. Plus four, minus one. Interesting. Ogre's Cleaver. Equipped creature gets plus five, plus oh. 
That's huge, but it's also extremely expensive. Okay, this is going to take a little bit. Druidic Satchel. Reveal the top card of your library. It's two and tap. If it's a creature card, put a 1-1 Sapperling token onto the battlefield. If it's a land card, put that card onto the battlefield. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, you gain two life. Sapperlings, land, or life. Jite my tome. Four and draw a card. That's an old card. Actually, this one's from M13. It's the only one I had, but I remember getting that back in revised. Fire Shrieker. Equip creature has double strike. Nice. Mind Stone. You know, I didn't have any of these. Oh, uh, sorry, I had one, but it's in my uh, um, cube. Mind Stone. <laughs> Add one colorless to your mana pool, or sacrifice it and draw a card. Well, I gotta pay one mana for that, but that's okay. Star Compass. Add one mana of any color, a basic land you control could produce. Neat. Marble Diamond. This was the only one of the diamonds that I didn't have. I had, you know, the moss and all the other ones, but this is the only one I had to buy it. See your sundial. Landfall. Um, you can pay two if you do draw a card. Dark Steel Plate. Yes, and it is also Chinese. I don't know why I said it like that. But I did. Alright. Dark Steel Plate. Um, it's Dark Steel Plate is indestructible, and the creature you equip it to gains indestructible. Argentum Armor, which is really a mean card. Equip creature gets plus 6 plus 6. Whenever it attacks, destroy target permanent. That's right. It's an equipment with a little Vindicate on it. But it's so expensive. Alright, that's enough of the equipments. Or artifacts, I guess. Land. Forbidding Watchtower. Comes into play tapped. You can add a white mana, or you can turn it into a 1 5 white creature. Still land. Neat. Drifting Meadow. Cycling 2. Daru Encampment. Target Soldier. Gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Soldier. Encroaching Waste. Destroy target non basic land. Maze of Ith, mostly. Mistville Plain. Mist Veil. Put target card in your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Hmm. That's a very cool card. Secluded Step. Cycling. Okay, that's it for the non basics. For basics, I don't have much. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh. He's got all full art Zendikar planes. Nope, I only have one. But I'm going to use it. Here, it's the land I have. That's right. I love it. White bordered. 6th edition planes. It's uh, the Tom Wannerstrand art. It's got a bunch of little, little African creatures at a watering hole. But yeah, that's my lands. 32 of them. 32 basic lands. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, that is all for my Commander Isha. Commander deck. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed putting it together. I cannot wait to use it. I just put it together. And I'm going to find a, find a match as soon as I can. If you see any improvements, and Peyton, I'm looking at you, that I can make. Um, I don't have a tremendous budget as you probably have guessed, like I don't have my own Maze of Ith, but I do look for ways to get rid of Maze of Ith. You know, things like that are too expensive. If you can think of a way to improve it for under, I don't know, for around the $5 and under mark, let me know. I have a lot of cards, I just didn't put them in here. I went pretty close to what 
the article said to use. Uh, I can only think of one thing I changed. I may have changed another one, but anyway, that's a great article series, 26 decks in a year. Uh, search it up on Gathering Magic. But in the meantime, please visit our site, magicgatheringstrat.com. We have lots of good articles I write out there. Um, we have some contests going on. The Popper Gauntlet is going on right now. You should submit some decks to it. But anyway, please visit. Like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it if you do. Well, that is all for right now. Thank you for watching.